Hey there internet friends. So I've pulled out my cooling loop for several reasons. I've got that in another video. Either it's come out already or it's coming out in the future, so look for that. But I have switched back to my all-in-one cooler for the time being, and this is a Kraken X61. And when I first put it in, it was nice and quiet, and I was able to install Windows, everything was good with it. I installed the cam software that's supposed to allow you to control it, you know, like the fans and the pump speed, along with the colors on the pump cover, but I couldn't get cam to see it. So I reached out to NZXT and they tried a couple things with me and they had me manually install the driver for it. And it installed just fine, I could see it in the software, but as soon as it, I did, it started making this terrible noise, like this. Alright, so that was pretty bad. And in that clip, I, I turned it up and made it louder because I couldn't get it to record with how loud it was in person. I, I don't know why, but it, it's very audible and very annoying in person. So I told um, NZXT about that and they decided to go ahead and replace it, but they don't make the X61 anymore. So they went ahead and replaced it with the X62, which is a lot cooler, the front of it is way cool. This changes colors and has holographics. If you've seen my grandfather build that I did a few months ago, it's one of these coolers that are inside of it. It's a really good pump. So now it's time to get started.
I'm finally done with it. It took me a lot longer because I did things I shouldn't have, like taking out my fans on the top of the case because I was going to put the radi radiator at the top of the case, but then I realized with the rad there and its fans, it was going to be, you know, sticking way down. It'd be covering up part of my pump and my memory. And then the video cards that I have in there are the For the Win 3 editions, and they're super tall. And can't really show you, I'm not going to show you, but it sticks way above the PCI brackets, so it's really hard to get in there to do things. And on top of that, it's really hard, like, I have to take out both cards or stick something really long and narrow and hard down the... <laughs> down the middle of it and push the button and then you know pull the card out and plug in the USB but regardless it was a lot more work than I was expecting it's done it looks fantastic and even more importantly that engine pump sound gone I want to thank you guys so much for watching I want to say hi to my buddies Isaac and Taven hey guys be good for your mom and if you guys like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more of my stuff in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time, guys.